put a finger on my sister Guaranteed your head pop, pop, pop Just like blister I might smile and grin But trust me darling When it comes what's good to my beautiful people there mate? welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's a girl missus and i'm back with another video oh 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 Oh. So as you can see by the title, I'm going to be testing out the CC Cream Foundation from e.l.f. Which I know that has been out for a little while, but based in the UK, it's only recently become available on our website. So I'm going to give you guys some specs and then we're going to get into the demo and then I give you guys the tea. So the Camo CC Cream Foundation retails for £14. I'm not too sure how many shades I have in total, so if I can find it, I will pop it on the screen or leave it in the description box below. But it has a medium to full coverage color correcting foundation with SPF 30 protection has a natural finish the SPF 30 is to protect against sun damage multitasking foundation that provides skincare benefits infused with hydrating and youth boosting ingredients known to improve skin texture and tone so it also has hyaluronic acid which is one of my favorite ingredients and especially where I do have mainly normal to dry combination skin I love and live in hydrating, useful, boosting, dewy type of product. Now, I actually already filmed this video, but I didn't like the footage and I was practically out of focus. So this is technically not gonna be a first impression, um, which is a good thing, I guess, because it allows me to use this foundation again. So originally the shade that I got was Deep 540N, which claims to have deep with neutral undertones. But then when I received it in the mail, she looked a little bit light. So I skipped one shade and jumped to Rich 6 to zero W which states rich with warm undertones however on the packaging which I found them away now the the 620 actually said warm golden undertones so, but on the packaging it actually says for example deep 540 with neutral warm undertones and then rich 620 with warm golden undertones so when I first swatched them they actually feel quite thick um, but those are the shades there, but yeah 540 which is the lighter one here um, Doesn't really match me that well. So that's why I end up going for the 620. So that one is 540 and this one is 620 620 doesn't really come across to have like a warm golden undertone like I said in the packaging and the 440 sorry the 540 it does have more of a neutral tone um but i guess against my skin tone and where it's got the sp30 it looks a little bit more olive like i don't know it's just weird but i'm gonna prime my skin first to try out once again the hydrating primer serum from elf I'm just going to use my ultimate blending brush from e.l.f. So it looks quite warm. It's definitely warm. So they haven't lied about that. But I don't know. I just don't really see the golden undertone. I just see warm. But that's what it says on the website. So I don't know if that was a mistake with the packaging. Or um, I don't know. <laughs> So that is half of my face blended out and I feel like the match is actually quite decent um, in like to compare it to my neck because I don't go as light as my chest because my chest is hella light girl. So I usually just like match my foundation around my neck area. And a side note, when I filmed my first initial impression um, using this foundation, I actually didn't use a primer. I don't know why. I don't know where my head was at but I didn't use a primer but when I didn't use a primer it wasn't as hydrating as this so this is the first time me using it with a primer and I do prefer the finish with a primer okay so that is the CC cream blended out with just a brush but you guys know me already I love going in with my damp sponge which I'm gonna do that afterwards and in terms of coverage I would definitely say it's like a nice medium if not full girl I pretty much covered my happy pigmentation my darkness yeah go on elf
okay so that is the face blended out with the sponge and i'll probably would say that it has removed which naturally it does when using a damp sponge that it removes like some of the excess product off your face well personal preference i would still use my normal method using the brush and then go in with the sponge but it does look good so i'm gonna allow this to sit on my face for about five minutes because i think i might even do the rest of my makeup on camera so this is the foundation after about five minutes and it pretty much looks the same for the life of me I don't know who I thought I was applying any sort of like foundation or CC cream without primers because I live for a primer but it does look decent so I am gonna do a natural beat I'm just gonna try and do a minimal makeup look I don't think I'm even gonna apply some lashes so let me do the rest of my makeup so we can see all you know with the other products together and then I can come down to my final verdict girl Okay guys, so this is my final and complete look. This is my glam. I went for something really natural, subtle and this minimal, which thank God, because I have been sick of doing like a full beat with the eyeshadow and the eyelashes. That's probably another reason reasons why my eyes kept on watering because I was just putting too much things on my eyes, girl. I do want to shout out to one of my people then because, where is she? Someone did recommend to get this NYX liner or this lip liner from NYX in the shade Club Hopper. And it's actually a really nice liner. It's not a true brown liner. It's more like a brown berry shade, if that makes sense. So that one is Club Hopper and that one is Trendsetter. But with this little concussion, focus, but with the little concussion, I'm actually really feeling it. So thank you very much for the recommendation. But anyway, let's get down to the base. What my face looks like with the foundation, and I'm not gonna do a wear test because I did a wear test in my first initial video. So I pretty much know how I feel about this CC cream. I personally do like this more. Now I wore this again, especially wearing it with a primer. It does have nice mildew to full body full coverage. It literally feels like a second layer of skin. I can't feel nothing. It does feel really lightweight, which I really do appreciate, especially it being a CC cream. I like the fact that it's got hyaluronic acid in it, SPF 30, you know, can't complain about that. Even though the primer that I used was an A blurring primer, it didn't actually emphasize like my pores that I have around here. Um, textures, obviously you guys know I've got fine lines and you know all that creasing that would never go away but I do like the way it just pretty much married my skin now my issue is with this CC cream after wearing it for an hour fair enough the first time around I didn't use a primer but I did do like my other steps like my powders and everything else it started to separate in my smile lines like literally within 20 minutes and I was a little bit confused and I'm like girl what's going on here and um, the second thing I will probably say without a primer it doesn't give me that nourishing feeling now it does give me that natural look or natural finish like it says because whenever I think of CC cream or BB cream I feel like that is a second layer tinted sort of nourishing cream and it doesn't give me that nourishing cream in comparison to the revolution one which is the CC perfecting foundation once again has hyaluronic acid um, SPF 30 has similar specs but I literally can use this which I have used a lot I can literally use this without a primer and it gives me that nourishing feeling but still feel like second skin even though I knocked it quite hard in my first initial impression I do like it more for CC cream they do have a lot of options because there's a lot of CC creams like don't have a lot of options they will come along 
level 5 or 4. These actually do have more greater options, especially in the dark skin complexion category. So I do actually respect them for doing that. But if I were to choose between the two, I would say initially I fell in love with this more than I did with the e.l.f. one. But with the e.l.f. one, it's not too bad. So that's pretty much my semi-review, I guess. So you guys let me know if you do have the CC cream. What do you guys think about it? Do you love it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comment section below. But I just want to say thank you so much for recommending me to do this video for you guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. And I would love to see you guys in my next video. Bye. And boom. They're on the tune like. Big up my sisters.